welcome back and if you're new here welcome my name is Lisa this is my most requested video I know you hear that a lot on YouTube this is my most requested video but honestly this is literally my most requested video I get asked to do this video all the time before we go inside just want to give you guys a little bit of background my home is an older home it was built in the 40s with that comes really small closets the closet in our master bedroom is really small and there's absolutely no way that Ken and I were gonna get both of our things in there. So we agreed that I could have this room, which is actually the smallest room in this house, to be my closet. I don't have all of my things in here, but I have a majority of my things in here. In our master bedroom, I have some drawers and I also have that little closet. I do have other things like my sleepwear, my sweaters, workout wear, some more athletic shoes or sneakers, a few coats, some work jackets, some workout wear and undergarments and things like that. So my closet was custom built by California Closets. They were absolutely amazing to work with. I call my closet my Diva Cave. So without further ado, welcome to my Diva Cave. So I put this special lock here just for extra security. Sometimes if I have parties or people over, I don't necessarily know all the people that are coming to my house. It's a fingerprint reader or you can put a code in. I usually just use my fingerprint. when you first walk in this is my vanity area this is where I sit and do my makeup polish my nails watch YouTube videos sometimes I edit my YouTube videos here sometimes I just hang out here this is the door that you first walk in when you walk into the closet you know Tiffany blue is my favorite color so I really wanted a Tiffany blue door so what I did was take a Tiffany box to various paint stores and had them color match it for me. Sherwin-Williams was the best color match. If you guys remember on Instagram, I had various color samples and you guys actually helped me choose, so thank you guys so much. All it is is a bunch of color codes if anyone is interested in this color. If I can still find the codes, I'll put them in the description bar below. You can just take it to any Sherwin-Williams paint store and they can make the paint for you. So let's go back over here. In this section of shelves, I just call this my Tiffany blue section. On the top shelf, just have some empty boxes just for decor. On the second to the top shelf, I have my YSL bag there, which I do use. I just keep it there. Under it, I have a box, a keepsake box, which has perfume in it. I have this Tiffany coin pig bank, which actually does have coins in it. Then I have on this shelf a breakfast at Tiffany's book that my friend on Instagram, her name is Stephanie, she gifted this to me for my birthday. Fit perfectly there. So then I have this little tray which has some perfume samples or little mini perfumes rather. I have a Tiffany bell ornament from Tiffany. It's in the shape of a bell. And I have this planner cup which has pins in it. And I have this picture frame, which is from Z Gallery, which was the perfect color match. This is actually a picture of Ken and I kind of when we were first dating from way back in the day. So that's us. As you can see, Ken has a lot more hair there. <laughs> yeah, that was at a Christmas party that we went to a long, long time ago. And then on the shelf, I just have some more Tiffany items. I have this Tiffany bow mug, which unfortunately they don't make anymore. I have this mug, which my beautiful friend, the Luxury Hybrid, actually gifted to me. Some other Tiffany items, some boxes. I also have some Tiffany candles, which smell amazing. These Tiffany keepsake boxes, which unfortunately they don't make anymore. And then I found this dream sign, I believe, at Home Goods, I believe. The Tiffany perfume, which unfortunately for me is not my favorite, but of course I still had to have it. And then I also have this Tiffany heart ornament. 
In this middle section, we purposely left that open just so I can find a piece of artwork to put there. Found this Tiffany inspired one at Home Goods. She's perfect for the space. And on top of the mirror here, I found this dream sign in the color of Tiffany blue at Home Goods, I believe. So I'm actually gonna turn the lights off to this mirror really quick just because it's giving me this weird backlight. So I call this my Chanel flat wall. This is my favorite Chanel flat bag. That's the medium size. I have this globe which I found at Home Goods, the perfect color because I love to travel, so it's an inspiration to travel. And then a black jumbo. I'm thinking about selling this bag because I'm really not into the Chanel jumbos anymore. I just don't use them. They're just kind of big and bulky. So. Another Tiffany candle, which smells amazing. My other bag there that usually sits there. And just some other boxes and decor items. And then on this shelf, I have my pink jumbo. And this little thing, I actually have some little perfumes in there. And then we're gonna come down here. As you can see, I have glass on the top of it. This was not on here when I built the closet, but I just had a glass company come and measure it and put some glass on it. I just wanted to protect the top of it because I knew I'd be doing makeup and other things, polishing my nails here. I have this plant, which is kind of sentimental. My friend that actually built the pergola outside, he gave us this plant kind of like a housewarming gift. It was in a little water bottle, just a little teeny stem. So I replanted it in this, so it's gotten a lot bigger and a lot longer. I just have this little picture frame. This is actually a thank you card from a Chanel SA that I received for purchasing a bag, so I like the picture so much I just put it in a frame. I have this piece of artwork here, which is from Home Goods. Then I have my iPad here, which I like to watch YouTube videos when I'm polishing my nails or doing my makeup. I have my phone charger there. Have this container that contains makeup brushes, which I honestly don't use these makeup brushes, so I need to get rid of this. They're just sitting there collecting dust, which is really disgusting. Then we have my Impressions Vanity Mirror, which I've always wanted one of these mirrors. It actually has electrical plugs and USB outlets so you can charge your devices or sit here and use your flat iron. It also plays the radio, it has Bluetooth, you can play music out of your phone or iPad. It tells you the temperature. It also tells you the time. This is my favorite lipstick holder from the House of Siage. Absolutely love this. It's so beautiful in person. Love it. And my favorite fragrance from the House of Siage, Passion de l'Amour. Some other perfume samples here. I need to clean this up. It's getting a little cluttered. Also have a picture of my little cousin and my aunt, same picture here with this little butterfly on it that I got this picture frame from Z Gallery. And oops, they died or passed away suddenly in a car accident, unfortunately last year, if you guys remember. Some other like travel sprays there have a mirror here and some other makeup brushes. These I actually use, so I wash these very frequently. I need to find something else so that I can have something with a cover because I don't like them just sitting out here getting all dusty. Keep this air freshener back here just so it can smell nice and clean and fresh in here. I have a tower like Muji drawers which has lip glosses and a few eyeshadow palettes and things like that. Here I have an initial A. This is for my last name. Got this at Home Goods. I have been trying to find an L for the longest time. I can never find one. <laughs> so if anyone ever sees an L at Home Goods or wherever like this, let me know so I can get on a plane and get it. Christy J from Christy Jay Loves Purses actually gave me these little shoes and they're so cute for Christmas one year. I have my plaque that says shopping is the only sport I need. Just thought that was cute. 
Got it at Home Goods. I have this chair, which I believe I got at Ross. It was just the perfect color and it's very comfortable. I also have this blanket that hangs over it. Sometimes it gets a little chilly in here, so I just leave that always hanging on the chair. I have two sets of drawers. The handles have light blue crystals. They do make these in other colors like pink, red, black, clear crystals. If I can find the link to them, I will put them in the description bar below. I don't know if I really want to go through all these. It might make the video too long, so anyway, we'll see. This is not organized, you guys, so don't judge me, but I'm just doing this in real life. Top drawer has things like my eyeshadow palettes. Don't ask me why I have so many. I don't even really wear makeup that much anymore. I have my lipsticks. Definitely don't really wear lipstick that much. These are the most amazing find. I found these clear tops because regular MAC lipsticks come like this so you can never see the color with these clear ones you can see what color they are so they're so amazing I got them off of Amazon I'll try to link those down below have some camera equipment my iPod some lotion deodorant other lotions dental floss my glasses that I use when I polish my nails, some um, things like Advil. You always need some deodorant in case you just need some deodorant to put on at the last minute so I don't have to go all the way back into the bathroom. This top drawer is where I keep most of my foundation type of things, powders, concealers, eyeliners, blushes, and stuff like that. And the bottom drawer contains my nail polish stuff. You guys know I do my own nails and it also has some eyelashes and stuff in here. See, I have this large window here, which I absolutely love the natural sunlight that it gives off. However, right now, unfortunately, since it's so sunny, it's creating this weird backlight. So it's making it pretty dark over here. When so. I'm not in here, I try to keep the curtains closed just because sunlight as beautiful as it is, it can fade your clothes and your handbags. It can also degrade your fragrances. I keep a lot of my perfumes and fragrances in here. So try to keep it as dark as possible to prevent that. When we originally designed this closet, this set of shelves was actually going to be a storage for my tall boots. However, when I got in here and started putting things away and organizing things, it just made more sense and it was more practical and functional to add some shelves so that I can add more things here. So. On the top shelf, I just have this box. It has things that I don't use very often. And then on the second to the top shelf in that basket, I call that my shoe essentials basket. So that contains things like insoles, shoe stretchers, shoe polish, things to prevent blisters, all kind of shoe essential type things. On this shelf right here, I have these clear organizers. They're actually from the container store. They're actually for files, but they work very well to keep these type of items standing upright, like pouches and clutches, things like that. This is one of my favorites. This is the Chanel Cambon Pochette. They don't make this line anymore, unfortunately. Another clutch, I found this YSL old school clutch when I moved. I actually forgot that I had it. I actually need to sell that. And then I have some LV Pochette Accessoire and a Louis Vuitton Eva clutch. And then on this shelf, just have some other LV bags. Have this old school coach vintage bag, which I love. And then I have these two clear bags. On this shelf, I have my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And then I also have this YSL Sac Du Jour that I don't use, that I keep saying I'm gonna sell. I am gonna sell it because I don't use it. I call this my closet essentials basket. This has things like hats. So if I have a bad hair day, I can just grab a hat and run out the door. It has a deodorant sponge, so if you get those little white marks when you're putting on your dress, 
it'll take it off. I have things like lint rollers and a pair of scissors in here in case I need to cut off tags. This thing right here is so amazing and helpful and functional. If Ken's not here or I don't have anyone to help zip me up, like my zippers in the back, you can clip this on and it will actually help you zip up your clothes. Here I have a vintage Dior saddle bag that I need to sell. Down here I just have some black bags. I do usually have another one that sits here, but I'm using it at the moment. This Chanel GST tote <laughs> is still here, but yes, I'm going to sell it. I don't use this. I don't know why it's still here, you guys. I just, uh, yeah. Anyway, some other black bags. And this is one of my favorites. This Gucci wallet on chain and this nice Fendi one. On the bottom here, I do have some tall boots. They sit on top of this Louis Vuitton box. And in that box, I just keep other boxes like SLG boxes and receipts and things like that. These are my Dway slides. And they're not really supposed to be there, but I'm trying to get my friend to come in cut some more shelves for me so I can add them to my shoe wall over there and I need to rearrange the shoes so I don't like them there they're not gonna stay there permanently I have this dress form she's a little hard to see because of the light from the window I believe I got this at Marshall's here. I think I actually need to give her a name because she's always in here so if you guys have any ideas for names let me know in the comment section below and maybe I'll give her a name. I just put this hat on here. It just says on vacay. She has this dress, which I've never worn, but I do actually plan to wear this dress. I just haven't had anywhere to wear it. I just love the colors of it. And I have my Dior Mitzvah scarves. They have my initials, an L and an A. And I like to just hang a few of my crossbody bags on here. I have this cute little gold coach one, some Mansoor Gabrielle bucket totes. I have another red one over here, which I need to sell because I don't really use that one. And as you can see, that bag is right next to the window. So that's why I try to keep this window closed just so it doesn't fade and ruin the leather. Love this window. However, if it wasn't here, I could have some more shelves or something. I started to put a desk right here instead of this vanity, but in the end, I just left it. I do like the natural light that it gives off. One of my favorite things, my chandelier, and actually I think this is Ken's favorite thing because he likes playing with this. I actually bought a different chandelier for this closet, but when I saw this one, I knew I absolutely had to have it. With this and remote, you can actually turn it on and off. I love this thing. It's so extra, so me. You can't even see how fabulous it is on the camera. It looks so much better in person. And with this remote, you can make it cooler light, you can make it warmer light, you can turn it on, you can turn it off. Absolutely love it. And yeah, so that's my CC chandelier. It's extra, just like me. <laughs> Let's go over to this side of the room. This is the original closet for the room. We took the door off and I was supposed to actually put a curtain, like the same Tiffany blue colored curtain to cover this. I just never did and I just decided to leave it like that so I can see the clothes but now I kind of have all these boxes down here so maybe I do kind of need to put that up there and kind of hide them I don't know let me know what do you guys think should I just leave it the way that it is or should I put a curtain there and kind of hide it anyway I got these two pieces of artwork at home goods then I got these baskets here they just contain things like my tights and also has some scarves in there, some more scarves and some other stuff and some other stuff in those two baskets up there. I do need to get rid of some stuff because it's getting a little bit too smashed. <laughs> so these are just my coats and some jackets like longer coats, longer sweaters, things like that. Try to color coordinate things just so that they flow 
aesthetically better. It looks better when they're color coordinated. Thinking about moving the coats maybe into my actual bedroom so that I can have more room and it's not so much stuff right here. But we shall see and getting rid of some stuff. Then here we have my dresses. So they go from white to nude to black. And yeah, as you can see, I have a ton of black dresses, probably too many. Yes, like I said, I need to go through those. I just have some boots that sit here that I haven't worn in a while, so I probably need to get rid of those. Maybe I will do a, another closet video, like a decluttering video or a clean out video or something. So. These are kind of new boxes. Some of them I got for my birthday, so it didn't used to look like this, like so much stuff in here. Need to do something with that. Got this cute little trash can at Home Goods. It's the perfect sparkly Tiffany blue color, and I just keep some stuff in there. Have one of Ken's other favorite things, and definitely a necessity in every closet. This is a full length mirror that actually comes out and tucks back in pull it all the way out. I just have my bag hanging on it. I need to put them somewhere else. Right now I just have them right there. But anyway, hey guys. So you always need a full length mirror in your closet. And I like this one because it just comes out and then when I'm finished with it, I can tuck it back in. Ken likes to play with this a lot. <laughs> one of his other favorite things. Some more dresses which are color coordinated also. So they go from pink to rust color, purple, and then we have greens and blues. And yes, I need to get rid of some of these as well. In the corner, I have mostly my top. So I organize those mostly by sleeve length and by color. Also have some more tops, which are color coordinated. They go from white to pink. And then I think I have some gray ones here. They go from Short sleeves or no sleeves to longer sleeves. So that's how I organize those. This is a valet rod. Very helpful if you're picking out an outfit or if I'm traveling, going on a trip, I can put all my clothes here. You can put your outfit for the next day there. It's very, very helpful. And then if I'm not using it, I can just tuck it away. Here on the bottom, I have my jeans so they go from the lighter jeans to the darker jeans and then i have some blazers back here and here are all of my nicer pants a little while ago i went through and changed out all of my hangers they used to be black but i changed them all to gray i just thought that they looked better i wanted them all the same color because they look a lot better when everything is all the same color. I chose to get these velvet ones because they're thinner and you can get more clothes here and your clothes don't slip off the hanger. This is my long hang section, long maxi dresses and jumpsuits. We have another valet rod. This one I usually just keep this dress on it at least for now. This is actually my dress that I wore to my birthday. I had an all white birthday party. So as you can see, it has little hints of light blue. It has my birthday, September 4th on it. And with that little sash that I wore. And I got these cute little pearl hangers. On this bottom section under the dresses, just have these boxes. These are empty boxes. And I keep things like my luxury receipts and other SLG boxes inside of them. And I have my Chanel Cambone tote with the beautiful pink lining. Absolutely love this bag. This is a forever bag. I will never get rid of it. I have these bottles of champagne. I had these at my birthday party, the all white birthday party. They're just kind of sentimental, so I just put them down there. And then I have these boots. These are some of my favorite boots. Absolutely love, love, love these. I have some more boots here. But these are suede, love them. 
And then I have a pair of Sam Edelman white boots with black laces, which are cute. Some, some sandals, flat shoes under there. Down here, I have my light box there. I have a, a little brush and a dustpan if I want to kind of sweep up a little bit and clean off the shelf. I have a hamper here. I also have the step stool that sits here when I need to get up to the higher cabinets. So these cabinets up here at the top contain things that I don't use very often. I'll usually just get my step stool whenever I need to get something up higher. So inside, so just have some storage boxes and I'm not really gonna go through the boxes except for this box. This one is kind of special. This one is from Kate Spade. These are actually a pair of shoes and they are actually my wedding shoes. So. Now they're absolutely filthy but of course I still have to keep them because they are sentimental to me and as you can see they have my and Ken's initials, an L and a K, and then it also has the wedding date. Had a little bow on them, and they were actually very comfortable. Some more storage boxes. But these are just storage boxes, and I put this little fake plant up here just for decor. Have a whole bunch of dust bags and makeup bags and things like that so those are there in that basket I have some empty shoe boxes I have a bunch of hats actually in this basket here so I have the shelving section this actually was supposed to go all the way up to the ceiling but they forgot that there was that vent there first we were panicking <laughs> like what are we gonna do but just took out the moldings and it worked out perfect. Just decided to put some bags up here. I'm gonna get rid of that bag since I don't use it. And then I just have some other bags. My lovely Louis Vuitton limited edition pochette Matisse, which I absolutely love. And then these bags. I also have my latest bag that I got for my birthday. My mini lady dior trying to get rid of that one i have a lot of stuff to get rid of that is the louis vuitton fragrance mini set and then i just have my initials there they actually light up if you can see behind the mini dior is actually a new bag that i got it's from coach it still has the paper on it i really wanted some drawers in here just because drawers are very functional they help hide things that you can't necessarily display very well or that are not aesthetically pleasing that you don't necessarily want everyone to see they help with things that you need to fold and put away so here is actually where i keep my fragrances they're kind of hidden by these clothes so it's darker here which is better for your fragrances they're not directly exposed to sunlight. When I originally designed this closet, I thought about creating a specific place for my perfume, but then I just kind of put it out my mind. I'm like, oh, I'll figure it I out. I don't so. have a beautiful display of my fragrances. They just all sit here on these shelves. One day I'm gonna figure it out though. I just know what they look like just from the shape of the bottles. And if you know perfume, I just know what they look like and what to grab. I am gonna get some more shelves so I can put some more fragrances because I'm kind of running out of room. I know the best thing would be not to buy anymore, but you know me, I just can't help myself. <laughs> I was gonna have a pull-out drawer here at the top so I can put some SLGs or sunglasses here. I actually had talked to California Closets about doing that right before COVID and then everything shut down. On the bottom, I just have two totes and this Louis Vuitton bag that's in the dust bag that I need to sell. This is where my SLGs are and my sunglasses. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get a pullout tray for some of these and then I can free up space to put something else here. The second drawer is like some of my jewelry, a lot of my jewelry. Don't ask me why I have 
all this jewelry because as you guys know I don't really wear jewelry so I don't know it's crazy <laughs> I could uh, use the space to put something else here but anyway this next drawer also some more jewelry and I also have my candles that I like to burn in here some candle accessories like lighters and a wick cutter also have this amazing lighter it's a USB lighter these are so amazing you guys I literally can't stand these type of lighters anymore where you have to roll them and push the button and all that stuff these never run out of any type of liquid all you have to do is just charge it by USB you push the button they have a little safety feature and then there's the lighter right there bottom drawer I'm gonna warn you is a hot 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 mess <laughs> I promise you here we have some thank you cards some candle boxes this whole thing is literally a bunch of perfume samples I have things like towels and paper towels and glass cleaner spray boxes stuff like that to clean off the the top of the counter so yeah it's a hot mess as you can see I also had glass put here just to protect the surface this was designed so that I could fold things here arrange things like if I'm going on a trip lay them out here but right now I just have my tray of perfumes which just normally sits here I normally do change out the fragrances because I don't like them to be exposed to light for too long and I change them according to my mood and the season right now I have more of the fall type fragrances these are kind of my grab and go I also have this fake orchid you guys know I don't really like fake flowers I used to constantly be buying real orchids because I only like them when they're blooming but of course they don't bloom all the time and I just got tired of constantly buying them so I bought this fake one I have the stack of books and you have Chanel Louis Vuitton and Christian Louboutin this Christian Louboutin one is probably my favorite it has lots of pictures it has pop outs it's just a really fun book love the LV one of course I love the Chanel one then I have this candle today we are burning Christian Dior's Ombre Nuit so amazing perfect for fall it's a nice gorgeous amber scent so it smells so amazing in here I have my Tiffany flower box that I got for my birthday I have a stand for my necklaces I think I got this at the container store and I have this Stand for my bracelets and it also has other things like earrings and brooches and some other earrings these are probably my favorite earrings love these I actually thought that I had lost these they're different color crystals I have a blue pair and a pink pair here I have this little jewelry tray and a swan my friend here lady B or a lady from Boston gave me this on YouTube she's on Instagram as well I have these Christian Dior fragrances here I might eventually move those I have one of my favorite pair of shoes here the Manolo Blahnik Hangacy pumps in the iconic cobalt blue I just keep them up here haven't worn them yet <laughs> nowhere to go in LA at the moment one day I promise I will wear them so for now they just sit up there on this side of the peninsula same setup another four drawers this drawer just has my socks this drawer has my work shirts this drawer contains t-shirts with words and things like that on this side just like on the other side I was talking about I want to have a pullout tray so I can put some SLGs or sunglasses or something else like that here as you can see there's a whole bunch of space between here and here it's like a lot of wasted space or I can put another shelf or something so. this is where I put all my black bottles and there's some gold ones in here you guys know I did the my black is beautiful perfume tag and I told you guys I kept all my black bottles in one place so this is where they sit have some more up there 
and in this little jewelry container thing here are some perfume samples. I also have some roller balls and travel sprays and stuff like that here. These are my Stuart Wiseman 5050 boots. Love these, so comfortable. I put these boot stands are in here. They help the boots stand up straight. Just got them at Home Goods, or you can buy them on Amazon and other places. These are some YSL boots. Love, love, love these. They're actually really comfortable, even though the heel is pretty high. And then I have some Stuart Wiseman boots. Sorry, they're all falling over now. And the set of boots also that just sit right there. I almost forgot this section. How could I forget that? Here in the middle, I just have this white fluffy rug along with a storage ottoman, which has things like some other shoes. It also has camera equipment, hats, things like that. Also just keep a shopping bag on here for decor. I like to change out the shopping bags. So every now and then you'll see them change. For the longest time I had that Dior one that's over there. Now I have the Chanel one. Right now it has all of these shoe boxes in here. Now we come to my favorite section of my Diva Cave, which is my shoe wall. I can totally go crazy with shoes. So when I designed this closet, I made it a point to only have three rows of these shelves for shoes. I did that on purpose just to keep myself in check for me to be more of a minimalist and not go totally, completely crazy. Actually, the closet designer laughed at me. <laughs> Brian, he was like, yeah, right. You got somebody whose nickname is Extra trying to be a minimalist. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I did that on purpose so that I wouldn't go crazy. It does help actually, so I don't buy too many. If I have too many, like for instance, I have these on the floor. We got most of these for my birthday, so I have to find somewhere to put them and then get rid of some other ones that I'm not using, and it's been working out well for me. Okay, on this side, I just have some boxes up there on the top. I just like having the boxes up there just for kind of like decor. I try to color coordinate them and organize them by types of shoes. Like I have all the black ones and then we have some more black ones. I have my initials there, the L and the A. Also have some more black ones and some more black pumps. Some more black ones. This is actually a picture of my mom. Look how amazing she is. Looks, look at that figure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yep, that is my mom back in the day. I'm going to actually get another shelf. So that's where these shoes are gonna go. I'm gonna have my friend actually cut another shelf to go there. I'll just have some flats here. Some of my favorites, love, love, love these. I'll just pick a few out to talk to you guys about. These are some Chanel shoes, love these. They're kind of androgynous, black and white. So fabulous, I love, love, love those shoes. I love these Gucci Marmont. Oh, I have a gold pair, so fabulous. They look so amazing at nighttime or in the light when it shines. Love them so much that I ended up buying a silver pair. Also have my Chanel shoes, the slingbacks, and then down here, just some nice fall booties. On the bottom shelf, I keep my boots. So these are mostly like my Chanel boots. These are the newest ones I bought. Love these, wore these the other day. They're so super comfortable and soft. Then I have these with the pearl, the Chanel pearl boots, which are fabulous as well. And of course I like to put them on the shelf, one shoe going forward, one shoe going backward. You can actually fit more shoes on the shelf that way. On this top shelf, just have some boxes, and in the middle there you'll see that Gucci makeup case. This is 
such an old vintage makeup case. My aunt actually gave me that as a high school graduation present, so you can imagine how old it is. I found it one day when in the garage at my old house. It still has some of old makeup in it. I said I was gonna do a video with the makeup in it. I have my other clear little bags on that shelf. My friend, my Ia from Purse Diva 38 actually gave me that little shoe. These shoes were actually the shoes I wore on my milestone birthday. I got these beautiful silver Socates. I can't believe <laughs> I wore these, but they actually didn't hurt. Probably because they have the uh, Vibram soles, which are more shock absorbing. Or maybe I was just like on a high of the night or something. But I actually wore them a majority of the night and they didn't hurt my feet. I don't know why. But yeah, the heel was crazy. Socates are crazy. Will not be buying any more Socates because I'm not into buying more shoes that high anymore. <laughs> And these are actually another pair of my wedding shoes. I had actually two pair of wedding shoes. So as you can see, this one also has our initials, an L and a K. Our colors were purple with an accent color of lime green. So those are our wedding colors. I love the Lakers. I am a native Los Angelian. So this was actually my garter. <laughs> A Laker garter so these are actually from Stuart Wiseman I love the color white but I don't like white shoes so I always use silver instead of white uh, as far as shoes are concerned these also have our date on here May 29th and my beautiful Laker garter the metallic ones nude colored ones these I recently purchase for my birthday these are the Chanel mules love them they have these four little pearls on them can't wait to wear them when something opens here in Los Angeles and we can actually go places <laughs> and then I have these which I have never worn if you guys remember me unboxing these they're by Giuseppe Zanotti but they're so high they're so crazy they're so narrow I have literally never worn these and I need to sell them because yeah I've never worn them and yeah it's crazy and this is a picture of my grandmother this is my dad's mother we have pink we have red On this bottom shelf we have some of my boots these are actually my favorite booties I absolutely love these. I think they're called the Alta Booties by Christian Louboutin. So amazing. Like, these are a favorite. A favorite, favorite, for real. Love, love, love them. Love them. These are another favorite. Oh my God. I love, love, love these boots. These boots are so old. I have had these at least probably a good... 20 something years honestly they're so amazing if you get a good boot and it's well made they will last you forever i just only recently like a few years ago got these resold and they have been going strong ever since they're by charles david when i actually took them into the shoe store the guy was like oh my god i remember these boots <laughs> from back in the day and it's like they were so well made. Up here, just have some more boxes, just like the other shelves. Light blue shoes up here. And I have this Alma bag, which I love. This is in the color Blue Lagoon. Love it when they first started making the Alma BB. Then we have my blue shoes. And we also have purple ones. And then we just have wedges. We also have this little card. This is actually a thank you card from LV. I just put it in a frame. We also have some more wedges. Might need to get rid of some of those. Mostly just use those in the summertime. We have some of my sneakers, just Vans and Converse or Chuck Taylors. And also have some of my Chanel espadrilles on this shelf. 
gonna get another shelf actually put here for some of my flats like I'll move one of the shelves up or down anyway yeah another shelf can be added in here for some of my flats that are down here on the ground so trust me I do have a plan for them they're not gonna stay there on the ground I can't stand that then we have some of my Tory Burch Miller sandals. I'm addicted to Tory Burch Miller sandals. I love them so that I have them in multiple colors as you can see. All of these are Miller sandals, believe it or not. These are my Louis Vuitton boots that I recently did a video on. These are actually my favorite Louis Vuitton boots. They are another version of the Star Trail boots with the buckle on them love 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 them like I said in my video even have these yeah I think I decided to keep these my friend she's just gonna have to give them to me <laughs> so they are fabulous as well and yeah the other Louis Vuitton boots sit down there and that's basically it for my shoes so that is it for my diva cave I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did or you like videos like this I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up if you are new here or just happen to click on this video I'd love to have you back as part of my YouTube family and consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that notification bell so you'll be notified each time I happen to upload a video here if you guys have any other questions for me like how I organize my closet or the process of building a custom closet or any other questions for me you can leave them in the comment section below maybe if I have enough questions I will come back and do a separate video answering the questions so thanks again for watching you guys have an amazing day an amazing week an amazing month and an amazing rest of 2020 and I will see you guys on my next video bye